Hi, Cami C. Walker here. Welcome back to my channel, Dreams Are a Reality. The channel that is created to provide light and love. As I talk, I have a self-love candle. I'm going to do a video about this. It is from a dear family friend of mine. I consider her family. Been knowing her since she was a baby. <laughs> broombaby.com www.broombaby.com and my candle says i am love i am light i am divine this is strawberry and vanilla baby i'm doing a video on this one so hopefully this weekend i can get to it i wanted to talk about um if you fall fall on your back if you can look up you can get up that is a quote by the great, I just love him, Les Brown. I bought one of Les Brown's books, oh my God, probably 20 years ago. And it's called Live Your Dreams. That book really helped me a lot. And it has a planner, you know, along the way. So as you read, it helps you plan. This is coming out of Yala Van Zant's book, Acts of Faith, for June 10th. When was the last time you watched a toddler learning to walk? They take a few steps and fall, then get up and try again. Sometimes they bump their heads, bust their lips, and pull things down onto their heads. No matter. They keep falling and getting up until one day they make it clear across the room. How did they lose? Or how did we lose that fierce tenacity to make it no matter what? Most of us consider ourselves much more capable than a toothless toddler, yet they seem to have something we don't. Toddlers seem to know that it's okay to fall. They are always willing to roll over, get up, and try again. A toddler who stumbles doesn't always fall. Stumbling actually moves them ahead faster. Toddlers will grab anyone or anything until they get their balance. When they do, they let go and move on. They don't seem to care how awkward they look, whether or not people laugh at them or how many times they fall. They do it over and over until they get it right. Isn't it funny that those of us who know how to walk are always afraid to fall? And the reflection says, I am willing to do whatever it takes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes? If you're writing in your journal, how do you compare with a toddler learning to walk what do you do when you stumble or fall and i remember my beautiful mom having brain surgery right before she got really sick and my mom had fought cancer three times prior to this four times total and she had brain surgery she hit, ended up with two tumors one in the front and one in the back and when they operated the first time she was still able to talk and my friend came to see her and she said, if I can look up, she said, I can get up. Huh, I got to leave that alone. That really choked me up. But that shows you the power that my mom had, the tenacity to fight cancer four times. What a hell of a lady. Man, I'm glad to have that blood running through my veins. I thought about the Golden State Warrior player, Clay Thompson. And he he had to basically rehabilitate himself basically for two years because he had one injury, and I'm not sure of his injuries. I want to say ACL, meniscus, Achilles. He, I think he had uh, meniscus or ACL and Achilles back to back. Like he, you know, he tore one, rehabilitated himself, came back out. I don't even think he made it back out. I think he was just practicing and did he did the second injury. So it was like. 24 plus months of rehabilitation and this is when you see what people are made of it's so easy to give up when we fall we have to get back up Aaliyah said it she said dust yourself off and try again dust yourself off and try again you got to it all starts with our words though I listen to people as they talk and it's a hesitancy hesitancy to proclaim that they can have or they can do and i'm gonna tell you some of the words i hear and i just cringe but it's not my job to correct people 
I just let them be. However, if it is my clients, it is my job to give them tools to help them. I hear, and I'm not talking about my clients all the time, I'm talking about people. I hear, I hope this goes good for me. All dry. I hope I find my way. All dry. Then they try to throw it on you. I hope that works out for you. Somebody told me that. It was like a long-term friend told me that recently. And I just, to me, I didn't take that as uh, assurance or believing in me. I hope that works out. Oh, no, it's going to work out. It's Tammy Walker here. It's going to work out. So you kind of get cocky, but not in a rude way, in a confident way. And speak with authority. And when you fall, get back up. Next time you see your little baby, your grandbaby, your niece, your nephew, your little cousin, watch them when they are like, you know, 10 months, 11 months, learning to walk and how bold they are. And it looks like sometimes their head is so heavy and they're, you know, you could tell they like falling forward, but they all managed to pop back up. Or like the book said, if they're by you, they're going to grab your pants. They're going to grab your hand. They're going to grab that table. They're going to grab whatever. But it's amazing how persistent they are and how strong those little fat chubby wubby legs are. They'll grab onto a, a kitchen cabinet and pull themselves up. They'll grab that couch and pull themselves up. They'll grab you and pull themselves up. And we have to be like that too. You know, everything's not going to always go our way. And sometimes it's during our lowest moments that we get a breakthrough. And I always talk about having cancer and just being so sick for months and months. But it gave me a lot of time to think. I was off on disability for a few months, getting the chemo and the surgeries and the radiation. And it made me slow down. No more working all these hours and singing in the choir and going to rehearsal and going to this and going to that and never sitting still i'm sick so i had to sit still but it was such a blessing because i got to think i got to think so sometimes when we fall you know having a surgery of some sort or have god forbid a loss you know those are the toughest ones when you lose somebody you love when they pass away and you know hey i keep talking about heartbreakers that's that's next or sometimes is you know death is final you know you can't bring your person back but heartbreak you're like man that that doggone man still alive or that lady's still around and it just ruminates and, and takes up rent and space in your head heartbreak is hard and I just kind of snicker at people because once they they far away from heartbreak, they forget that pain. But I hope I never do that because I'm always sympathetic to somebody that's heartbroken. It's a bad thing. And some people don't recover from heartbreak. You know, they have their heart broken and they never really get back in a healthy relationship again. Or you have older women, they never date again. You know, they get heartbroken at 60, 50, 30, 40. And they're 70 years old. They never date again. And that's just so sad. When you fall, get back up. If you can look up, you can get up. It's a blessing to be able to walk around, to be able to take a long, brisk walk, to look at nature, grass, the birds, the squirrels, a beautiful flower, to hear those birds chirping. It's a blessing. Don't let life pass you by because you fell down. You can make it. You are more than enough. You are beautiful. You are chosen. You are wonderful. What did my candle say? I am love. I am light. I am divine. This is a self-love candle. I am Tammy, middle name Sharice with a C, Walker owner of dreams are reality hit that like button hit subscribe for me and thank you to every new subscriber i hope this motivates you and warms your heart have yourself a beautiful friday have yourself a beautiful day and show yourself some self love bye bye